Welcome to the fifth video in the Evil Clutches tutorial series where we're learning to use Game Maker Studio 2. As you can see so far we've made some really good headway into our level 3 goal of understanding how to add objects to a game which move on their own accord or in response to the player and interact with other objects. And so far all the stuff highlighted there we've covered in our previous videos. In this video we're going to be focusing on creating the demon object. So far we have ticked off three of our specifications and all the specifications that relate to the mother dragon object. By the end of this tutorial we would have ticked off another two specifications. We would have created um, the boss demon releasing the demons and those demons are going to randomly move left, up, left or left down. Okay, well here we are in Game Maker, so we need to create a new object for our daemon. So as per usual, I'm over here in the resources panel, right mouse clicking, creating a new sprite. To start with, um, I'm going to import the daemon gif, go OK, yes import you, um, I'm going to call it SPR daemon, and I'm going to edit the image. Um, over here and by clicking on the first frame holding shift click on the last frame remove tool color remove tool yep it's done all four frames that's what we want to see close you down sprite demon name all done set the animation speed to 24 that's what it looks like looks good enough to me close the sprite down it's done okay so now it's time to make your demon object and this should all start by getting really familiar with you make the sprite then make the object so come in here i'm going to call the object obj demon and we're going to add in the demon sprite so what events do we need to do this well the first event we need is when the demon is created we want it to move across the screen um, so that's going to be a create event. So the events create and the action, I'm just going to hide that there. Right, the action is um, going to move randomly, move in a random direction. So I'm just going to type random in here in the search bar. Um, we'll start typing it and here it is, set random direction. So I'm going to drag him out, I'm going to set the random direction and I want it to be one of three possible directions um, going left, so left up, left straight ahead, left down. Next thing I need to do is I need to give it a bit of speed um, and say what speed we want it to operate at. So we want the moving across at a speed of 12. So when the demon is created, he's going to move in a random direction, left at the speed of 12. That's cool. So what else do we want it to do? Well, when the demon hits the top and bottom of the screen, we want him to bounce the same as the boss did. So if you remember that was using the other and using the intersect boundary event. So when it hits the boundary, we want him to, the term was reverse. So I'm gonna reverse and we're just worried about the vertical, the up and down reverse. Um, so that's that. The next thing we need to do is when the demon is outside of the room, so once he's gone, exited to the left hand side of the room, we no longer want him to exist because he just takes up calculating resources for no purpose whatsoever. So again, under other, outside of room, and if the demon is outside of room, then we want his instance to just be destroyed. Destroy instance, come here. Okay, so that's everything that the demon needs to do. I'm just going to minimize him. Now the demon is spawned by the demon boss. So let's look up here. And in the boss, we need to have an event occur. So what we want to do is want the demon to, to be created randomly. So the kind of event that we're going to use for this is called the step event. Now the step event is... Um, basically there's 30 little ticks of a clock every second that runs in the background of the game so 30 little steps that occur and a step event is an event that will happen every time so 30 times a second this event is going to happen now what action are we going to have so when that step occurs what do we want it to do well we want it to create a random number because a random number I'm going to say maybe 1 in 50 I think it would be a good kind of random spawn 
let's see, a random number. So we want the demon to appear every th a 1 in 50 chance of spawning 30 times a second. So because 1 in 50 is talking about whole numbers, we want to change from decimal to integer here. The minimum is 1, the maximum is 50. And when it calculates that number, I wanted to send it to a variable called demon spawn. And that, that variable is temporary. It, it only exists as long as this calculation is being done. And so that's just going to save us memory. So once that has actually been done, we then need to test and see whether whether the actual demon should be spawned. So if there's a 1 in 50 chance. So we use an if statement here or an if action, so if variable. So again, it creates a number and then it says, right, if that number, which has been saved to demon spawn, if demon spawn is equal to 1, that's a 1 in 50 chance, then we want the demon to be created. So how do we create the demon? Is that we create an instance of him. So create instance. So I'm going to drag him down here. Now you see that there's two possible ways it can come off the if variable here. So if if this is true, if the condition is true, that is that it is one, then this this side here will actually be executed. So this is where we want to go. If it's not true, then whatever it puts under here will be executed because we want the demon to be created. Um, if it is true, so I'm going to put him here which means you can see it spins off down the side there. If I put them under the bottom, it'd look like that. It's very different. And that's not what we want. We want it over here. So if, if the number is one, then we want it to actually create an instance of daemon. And that daemon is going to appear relative to wherever the object boss is. So as he moves up and down, it will appear there. So let's go. Let's see how this went. So I'm just going to start him here. We got demons who are appearing and they're moving up and down and they're bouncing off. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see. There you go. We have now ticked off two more of our specifications. Um, releasing our demons and they're moving left across the screen, either straight ahead or up and down randomly. In the course of this tutorial, you would have learned how to use the step event and you also would have learnt about the give set direction random action, um, about the get random number action and the if variable action.